Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. RHOM Larsa Pippen Marcus Jordan had red flags before break. When Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan appeared on the traders, they seemed to still be as close as ever. While they took on the competition individually, most people seem to think that they were still a strong couple. However, now that they have seemingly broken up, Real Housewives of Miami stars say that there were already red flags. Here is what some of Larsa's RHOM friends had to say about the breakup. While the Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan breakup has not been officially announced, most know it is a done deal. Larsa unfollowed Marcus on social media and then cryptically asked if friends should unfollow your ex, making it sound like she wanted her friends to stop following him as well. This is weird since one source said that they were just taking some time apart, but still adore one another. Looking at the drama of Larsa's post, it should come as little surprise that RHOM cast members said there had been red flags leading to the breakup. This includes comments from both Adriana de Mora and Julia Lemagova, who said the writing was on the wall via Distractify. I feel like there were some, you know, writing on the wall, in terms of tension within the relationship, Adriana said. At the same time, I feel for her. Julia added that one of the big problems in the relationship was Larsa's jealous tendencies. She said it might have been too much for Marcus to handle. Julia, who is married to Martina Navratilova, said she asked Marcus to take her picture at BravoCon in 2023. Larsa thought it was weird and reportedly freaked out about it. Adriana went on to say that Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan had issues that might play out in the Real Housewives of Miami season 6 final and the reunion episode. The RHOM star hinted there are things that people don't know about from behind the scenes on the reality TV series. Maybe people couldn't see it, but it happened behind the scenes. So there's a lot of answers to a lot of questions that are lingering right now, Adriana said. Both Adriana and Julia said they were not surprised the relationship ended. However, they also said they struggled to see it play out on social media. Julia said she hasn't spoken to Larsa since BravoCon and hasn't reached out to her. Adriana also said she hasn't reached out to her, but agreed to unfollow Marcus, since that is what Larsa seemingly wants. Julia said she never followed Marcus, to begin with. In the dazzling world of Miami's elite, where glamour and scandal often waltz hand in hand, the relationship between Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan was nothing short of a media spectacle. Larsa, a figure of high-profile allure, with her celebrity lineage and business acumen, seemed like an ideal match for Marcus, whose own star was on the rise thanks to his family's basketball legacy. Their romance, glittering with the promise of a fairy tale, was anything but seamless. As the relationship progressed, red flags began to surface, signaling that the fairy tale might be unraveling. From the outset, their connection was marked by a certain palpable intensity, a fusion of Larsa's seasoned charm and Marcus's youthful exuberance. Their first public appearances together were nothing short of captivating, showcasing their chemistry against the backdrop of Miami's vibrant nightlife. However, beneath the surface of these captivating scenes, cracks began to show, cracks that would soon widen into an undeniable chasm. One of the earliest indicators of trouble was the persistent scrutiny from the media and fans alike. Larsa's previous high-profile relationships had already placed her under a magnifying glass, and with Marcus, it was no different. The constant attention and speculation seemed to put an unnecessary strain on their budding relationship. While some couples thrive under the limelight, others find it suffocating, and for Larsa and Marcus, it seemed to be the latter. The pressure of public opinion, combined with their own personal insecurities, created a volatile mix that was hard to ignore. 
Another significant red flag was the difference in their life stages. Larsa, well established in her career and personal life, was in a phase of seeking stability and growth. Marcus, on the other hand, was still carving out his path, grappling with the legacy of his famous father and trying to establish his own identity. This divergence in their life stages led to fundamental differences in their expectations and priorities. While Larsa was looking for a partner who could match her level of commitment and maturity, Marcus was still exploring his own aspirations and identity. Communication issues also played a pivotal role in their unraveling. Despite their evident affection for one another, their conversations often seemed to spiral into misunderstandings. What should have been constructed discussions about their future plans often turned into arguments about trivial matters. These communication breakdowns were a clear sign that they struggled to align their goals and expectations. When foundational issues like these are left unaddressed, they can fester and lead to more significant conflicts. Trust, an essential pillar of any relationship, was another area where red flags were raised. Larsa and Marcus faced frequent rumors and gossip about their relationship, which only added fuel to their insecurities. Trust, once shaken by external influences, is difficult to rebuild. Both Larsa and Marcus were vulnerable to the whispers of jealousy and doubt, which eroded the trust that initially held them together. The constant need to defend their relationship and prove their commitment to each other took a toll on their emotional well-being. Moreover, their differing social circles highlighted another point of contention. Larsa's circle was filled with high-profile friends and associates who often lived in the public eye. Marcus, while part of a prominent family, had a more grounded and private social life. This disparity in their social circles created tension as they struggled to balance their public personas with their private desires. Larsa's glamorous world clashed with Marcus's desire for a more low-key existence, leading to friction in their interactions. The final red flag, perhaps the most glaring, was their differing views on the future. While Larsa envisioned a relationship built on shared goals and long-term stability, Marcus seemed more focused on enjoying the present moment. This mismatch in their outlooks created a fundamental disconnection. Larsa's readiness for commitment contrasted sharply with Marcus's reluctance to settle down, highlighting a critical incompatibility in their long-term plans. As the relationship progressed, these red flags became impossible to ignore. The combination of public scrutiny, differing life stages, communication issues, trust problems, social circle clashes, and divergent future plans led to an inevitable breaking point. The once glamorous affair between Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan, which had promised so much, eventually succumbed to the weight of these unresolved issues. In retrospect, the signs were all there, subtle hints that the relationship might not withstand the pressures it faced. The glitz and glamour of Miami could not mask the underlying problems that plagued their romance. As their story came to an end, it served as a reminder that even the most dazzling relationships can encounter turbulence when fundamental issues remain unaddressed. In the ever-evolving world of celebrity and romance, the story of Larsa and Marcus became a poignant example of how red flags, if ignored, can ultimately lead to a break.